Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. Firstly, I just want to say that I totally failed my shopping ban. I kind of knew it was going to happen because of this time of year. It's my day off today. I texted a sales associate, asked if I could make an appointment to check out the straps and the sales associate was really nice and they said they had a little surprise for me and well guys, I did some damage. So I wanted to show you guys what I bought and I know it's a bit contradictory to what I've been talking about on my channel, me randomly doing an unboxing. But I just want to be real and tell you guys I went shopping. And um, I wore my uh, Lindy today. And actually, um, I wanted to share with you guys my lipstick. Pink color 269 called Impact. And I, uh, yeah, I may have to do some more. I just had um, some water, so I think this might be coming off. So it's kind of like a pinky color. Yeah, I thought that charm was really cute on it as well. That's in Rose, Mexico. First thing I got was this book. Now this wasn't the little surprise the sales associate had to show me, but uh, they actually shared with me this book and it's really interesting because it shows all the kind of different window displays that Hermes have had over the years. And I noticed that in their pictures, there was a lot of like vintage bags that I'd kind of seen on like Japanese auctions and stuff. Um, it'd be really interesting for me to uh, look at the pictures to kind of pinpoint Hermes bags from different eras. And I don't know, if I go to Japan, it would be cool to find some of these like rarer bags. So I really needed to buy it. I actually don't know how much it costs, guys. I didn't ask. The book and it kind of shows like different, it's just a lot of, um, I just thought it would be really interesting to read. Like 2004 as well. Look, there's some like little metallic bags down here. I just thought it was very interesting to find out about these really limited edition pieces. Like even that, Kelly, can you see that one, guys? Like, I don't you find this so fascinating? I asked um the sales associate if they thought these bags existed or if they're just imaginary, but I think they perhaps were created. Um, maybe they were just very rare pieces. It's very fascinating to look at. Anyways, I'm looking forward to reading this book. That's the first thing I got. And, uh, this thing was the surprise. So, yes, it's not a bag. I didn't get a bag, so that was lucky because, hmm, my boyfriend would be a bit, you know, Jess, uh, what's going on here if I got a bag? But, you know, um, I wouldn't mind getting an Hermes bag from the boutique if they had to offer one to me. But, you know, i got to be responsible as well. So, uh, oh my gosh, guys, this is so adorable. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Some of you will love this. Some of the, you will absolutely hate this. I personally love it. Okay, okay guys, so it's a little doggy and it's like resting. <laughs> oh, it's so fluffy, it's so cute. So this is the bunny charm. I asked, uh, every time I go to Hermes, I always ask if they have a bunny charm because I'm obsessed with these charms. And they're just never available in Australia. I think in Europe they're easier to get. But um, yeah, this is the thing the sales associate surprised me with. And as soon as I saw this colour, I literally <sighs> died, guys. Like, I don't know. This is so adorable. This colour. It's like my first, like, oh, it's just, I don't know what the colour is. I think, to be honest, is it mauve fizz? Because that's a new Hermes colour. It doesn't say. I might have to check the receipt. But it's like this beautiful pastel lilac. I'm just... It's so gorgeous. And then the actual string looks like maybe Rouge Cellier. And it's fluffy. So, oh, it's just like my favourite. I think, feel like this is the cutest charm ever. It does look like a little bit like cotton wool. But it's so fluffy. I think it's made out of shirling. I'm going to try this on my Birkin, guys. Oh, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> okay, this is adorable. Uh, I don't have regrets. This is why I'm addicted to shopping, guys, because I buy stupid things like this. 
Now, a lot of you will think this is a total waste of money and it is over it is overpriced. But these little bag charms that I buy, guys, they're totally collectibles. So, you know, there's that. I think anything that's a collectible, it still has value. It's not money thrown away. And it's just that I get to enjoy, you know, a little thing instead of having the, the cash, you know. I can just look at this and be like, oh, <laughs> look at it. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Oh, my God, I'm dying. Oh, it's so adorable. I have to try it on my Kelly. I think this would even look adorable on my Picatin. I did ask the sales associate if they can help me get a garden party and they said maybe it might take a while but maybe so I even think this would look adorable on a garden party. I really want a garden party 30 but I'm gonna try it on a Kelly bag as well. These bag charms they, they honestly drive me crazy. I'm addicted to bag charms. It's so fluffy. Okay let's try it. <laughs> oh I really like this too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really like it on the Kelly as well. It really goes well with like a white twilly. Lucky I was wearing the right twillies on my bags, but... It does look a little bit like this like cotton bud stuck to my bag, but... Oh my god, that is so adorable. <laughs> and it kind of, I don't know, it's the same kind of fluffiness as Hello Kitty, to be honest. Oh. I'm so happy I got this colour. This is just to die for. Yes, that's what my sales associate surprised me with, but they did actually surprise me with one more charm, guys. So, yes, double unboxings. Oh, and they, they gave me all these perfume samples. Oh, yes. Oh, so many. Oh, my gosh. Cool. I got a lot of perfume. So... They know I love bag charms, guys, so I also got offered this, and I couldn't resist it because I was obsessed as soon as I saw it. To be honest, they could offer me any bag charm, I'd probably just take it because I just think that I can't resist. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Okay, so this is a single-coloured rodeo PM in Blue France, and... I love this because it's a single colour and I just feel like these are very versatile and it really pops on your bag. Now I actually I actually don't know what bag this is going to suit on my, in my collection but I'm just thinking as a bag charm this is gorgeous and even if like in the future I get another bag this could potentially go on it. I know it's a bit of a silly way to shop but I just I just loved this colour. I have this uh, rose Mexico color and now I've got the blue France color. It could even look cute like doubled on this bag or you could wear it like this side. That's quite a nice look as well, like a nice little contrast combo. Like if I just put it here, this hanging like a little horsey. Or it could go really well on even my mini Evelyn just as a little accessory. I already have a purple one on here. This is in Anamone. But maybe I could put another one. I don't know, guys. I honestly just loved this, like, single coloured. I'm really into the single colour ones. I just think they're very effective. And if I got, like, a blue Birkin in the future, I mean, this would be the perfect charm, right? So, mm. I love it. It's so beautiful. It's just, oh. I'm going to save this one for a, a special bag in the future. But, you know, I'm glad I bought it. I think it's really beautiful in this single colour. And... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like if you can buy a rodeo charm from the boutique, it's a it's not a bad idea because buying them secondhand, you sometimes have to pay more. Like um, this one, I was thinking of buying a buddy charm secondhand. Um, so I paid, I think it was eight hundred and something for this, which I know, guys, that's a lot, eight hundred Australian dollars. Um, but I know buying it secondhand, you're gonna be paying over a thousand. Um, so. I was going to buy one for like 1050 I found like a red one, but this colour on the pre-love market is a lot more than 1000 so 
it was good that I got it from the boutique and even the single colored ones sometimes go for over retail so if you can get them from the boutique it's not a bad idea if you're into that sort of thing I know not everyone's into the rodeo charms but I foresee myself in the future buying more bags in my lifetime so I don't think this will go to waste because it's just so adorable and I feel like I cannot not buy it and also I was feeling so itchy today to shop that I just couldn't say no to this rodeo so I bought it but yes it actually looks it actually looks really cute on this as well like these colors together because I think I have too many on here right now um but you know you can you can change up the different colors I think that looks really nice together that combination mix it up I've already got a Pegasus on there but I, I think that looks quite nice I just love getting creative with the colors so yes that's that I do want to do an Hermes bag collection soon and I'm still kind of recording it I want to like go into depth about every bag and like the, the color the year and um, all that sort of thing so I'm gonna start writing notes for my collection video uh, maybe today but anyways hope you enjoyed watching this little unboxing and I'll talk to you on my next one bye